it's a thing to nine now. <laughs> New Zealand Post is getting behind a bunch of small New Zealand businesses offering free courier services for a year. 11 deserving organisations have just been named as part of New Zealand Post's Delivering for Good programme. Sweet Louise was one of those lucky organisations. Janet and Nadine join us now from Sweet Louise. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you both for being with us. This is very exciting for you and I want to get to um, what you have won in terms of the career services soon. But Janet, can I please just start by asking you about Sweet Louise mm. and how it came about? Absolutely. So Louise was my younger sister. She was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was 27, so very young, um, and then died 12 years later. So she was 39 when she died of, of secondary breast cancer. And what we realised was through that time, she was a really kind of positive, vibrant kind of person, but she also was absolutely about living. So she did a couple of degrees, she travelled, she um, was involved in charities, she did lots of things, and as well as kind of catching up with friends for lunch. And So we wanted to create a charity that helped other women in that situation live as best as they could as, for as long as they could. So yeah. that was really the basis, and it was around trying to stop having the, that cancer being the, the dominant part of your life, mm. about finding a way to just let it be part of your life but not overtake it. So that's where it came from. Yeah. Today is a significant day for you, not just because of the Delivering for Good programme, but because of the date too. Yes, it actually would have been Louise's 57th birthday today. Lovely. So that's it, you know, it's a significant day for our family, but at the end of the day we remember her. And this is such a great thing to be able to be part of. So Nadine, what do you do in terms of your work as a, a support coordinator for Sweet Louise? So I'm one of seven support coordinators scattered around the country. We provide one-on-one -on -one practical and emotional support for 760 members living with advanced breast cancer. Um, when we meet with a member for the first time at home or in hospital, one of the first things we ask is, how can I help? So they can engage with Sweet Louise in a number of ways. Um, for example, if they want social connection, they can join our monthly meetings that we have around the country, normally at a local cafe. It's our shot. We um, provide the teas and the scones, and it's a chance for our women to korero, connect with each other and with us. Many women leave these meetings and they say to us what a wonderful experience that was um, because they're with people that get it. Lovely. Janet, the Delivering for Good free career services for a year mm -hmm. through New Zealand Post, what does it mean to be able to provide those services and that care that Nadine is talking about there? What will it mean to Sweet Ways? It's, oh, it's huge for a small charity like ours. And um, one of the things just to point out is that there's, there's 11 charities that get chosen and then to each get you know a year's worth of free courier delivery and then it goes to a public vote and we won that public vote so we get a second year. So for us it's ah. even better. So we get two years of free courier service and that means all the, the care packs, the, the welcome to Sweet Louise packs, the um, little Little gifts that we get given, we can then courier out, and that gives us more money. You know, if we're not spending it on on courier deliveries, it gives us more money to spend on vouchers to help women get things like for some women just having their um, their gutters cleaned out because mm. they, they 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 can't do that, or getting their gardens done, or um, getting a meal delivered when they're going through chemotherapy and they've got four children and it's just too hard. So Those things. You do yeah. the things that you would like to think your your neighbours would do for you in a, in a situation yes. like that, and if yes. people don't have those yes. connections yes. or those people, yes. you, you step in to do that stuff. Absolutely, that's that's what it feels like. It's just um, a, a very warm helping hand that and it's about kind of hopefully bringing some joy into people's lives but through these tough times knowing that somebody else cares and yeah. is there and will help and answer questions and yeah so it's it's a lovely charity to be part of but we are little we're not government funded um we the these women now rely on us we feel very um strongly that we need to, you know, we can't, we keep, need to keep going. Yeah. And in this kind of COVID time when we haven't been able to have our 
all our fundraisers that we'd like to have, it's been really tough. Mm. So it's this kind of support, really tangible, practical support is amazing. And Brilliant. it's always so nice to get um, a New Zealand Post career at your house, yeah. but especially <laughs> when it's, it's harder for you to actually go out and yeah. when you need, especially need those yes, packages. Absolutely. Janet and yeah. Nadine, thank mm. you very much. From Sweet Louise, thank you for being with us. Um, they have, as you heard, just scored a, a year's worth of free courier service, as well as the additional mm. year. And that is thanks to our friends at New Zealand Post. It is 11 minutes from nine now.